Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we are going to keep talking about gesture sketching, and we're going to step beyond the basic stick figure and move into the three major masses, the head, the torso, and the pelvis. Now, if you've ever had one of those little wooden artist figures on your desk, this is sort of the same idea. We are going to be simplifying these three major masses into very basic shapes. And once again, the idea here is so you can have a mental map of the figure and you don't always have to draw from direct observation. This is going to be great when it comes to drawing concept art, illustration. You are really going to need to be able to draw figures without reference. Now, if you remember last time, I said most of the action comes from that S-curve of the spine. But if you think about any given pose, there's usually some twisting involved. So here I have drawn the soccer player on the right, and you can see that his head, torso, and pelvis are not all pointing in the same direction. Well, this is key. Almost every pose has some aspect of twisting. And so when you are imagining these three major masses, that is what you're primarily going to be looking for. And it's going to help you establish the perspective and the general pose of the entire piece. Now, the way that you draw each of these simplified forms is really up to you. Different artists will simplify them in different ways. And so my method is sort of a combination of Andrew Loomis and a couple others. But the important thing is to think of the pelvis as a box, because it could be thought of as a circle, but that doesn't give you as much directionality. Instead, think of it as just sort of like a shoebox. And then the torso is a bit rounder, of course. And it's nice to indicate some sort of center line. Some people will draw the bottom of the rib cage. Some people will draw the pectoral muscles. However you want to do it, something that'll indicate which direction the torso is pointing. So I could do both if I really wanted to. And then the head is a sphere with a box attached to the front of it. And you could draw a center line if you wanted, and then a cross for where the eyes are. So here you can see I have twisting evident in my image. The head is pointing off in this direction, the torso is pointing forward, and the pelvis is pointing in a different direction. So if you look at the athlete on the far left here, he's got a challenging pose. And also his three major masses are obscured by clothing. So you really have to do a bit of imagination. But here, when you simplify it into these basic three masses, it really gives a much more rigid sense to the pose. I get a lot more information. So this does take longer to do than drawing a simple stick figure. But as a second step, if you're doing maybe a two minute or a three minute drawing, I'd really recommend learning these basic masses. And honestly, a great exercise is to do some action poses from sports pictures, because it's a little bit easier if you're doing life drawing photos of nude models. Once they have clothes on, it adds an extra level of difficulty. So have fun doing some gesture drawing. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.